Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are dedicating a full day to laundry. So I'm going to share with you guys my routine and how I stay underwhelmed with all of the laundry and things that I have to do. I'm going to share with you guys the products as well as some laundry hacks. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. So the first step into an all day laundry routine is to gather everything that you want to wash and put it into piles, section everything off. Um, I know if I don't take off my sheets, I won't wash them. I'll save it for the next day. So when I take them off, that kind of forces me to wash them. I'm not doing my duvet cover. I'm just gonna throw that back on the bed. Um, that's actually recently been cleaned. I'm also gonna take the kids sheets and pillowcases and stuff off so I can wash that as well. picked up some new towels from Target. We love to get our towels from there. All of this can be ordered and I'll have it linked down below. We picked up some kitchen towels as well as some washcloths and huge bath sheets. We love to use bath sheets instead of bath towels. Bath sheets are just a lot bigger than just your regular size towel. So when I dedicate a whole day to doing laundry, I take up the hallway upstairs because our laundry room is right up there. So right now I'm just separating me and my husband's clothes into colors, whites, and darks. So the first load in today's marathon is going to be the colors because that is the largest load. I'm going to throw in some scent beads. I'm using Gain laundry detergent as well as the laundry sanitizer and I'm going to set it to normal. So I almost forgot to gather all of our towels from around the house and separate those into piles. This includes washcloths, face and hand towels, bath towels, kitchen towels, and cleaning cloths. So I had a huge accident today in the bathroom. I spilled makeup on my rug and I got some on my towel. I'm gonna use this Shout stain remover to spray on the stains before I put these in the wash. So to keep from being overwhelmed with laundry, I kind of race against the washer and dryer um, when it comes to putting things away. So if there's something in the dryer and I have a clean load waiting for me, I make sure I fold and put away those clothes before the dryer is finished. That way throughout the day, I just have small loads of clothes or towels to fold and put away. So I have this small load of darks that I washed yesterday that I need to hurry up and put away before the washing machine is done. And once this is all put away, I can go ahead and move the clothes from the washer to the dryer and then add another load in the washing machine. So now that the colors are done, I'm gonna sort through and add what I need to add to the dryer from this load and then everything else needs to be air dried. Okay, so now that we're drying our first load of the day, I have some tips to give you guys and I'm gonna share with you guys some of the products that I use in the dryer. Of course, dryer sheets, we buy these on and off, but if you guys happen to run out of dryer sheets and don't have those dryer balls, make some out of aluminum foil. These work just as good. They don't provide any smell, but they work so good. You can just use them over and over again. And last but not least, my favorite thing to use are these dryer balls. I can change up the smell using essential oils. So I just use two or three drops on each one and I throw it in. So 
So these are the clothes that need to be air dried. So I'm gonna lay them out on my ironing board. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have one of those drying racks for your laundry, but I don't. If you guys have a front load washer, don't forget to clean out this part right here. This collects coins, socks, hair. It also might hold some water, which can give you a nasty mildew smell. So in between loads, just don't forget to clean that part out. So I'm adding in my new towels for the kitchen into the towels that I'm about to wash. The other towels, I'm going to wash those separately, not only because they're white, but because they're brand new. And when I get brand new towels or sheets, I like to wash those separately. So now that both machines are going and I don't have anything to fold and put away right now, I'm going to take advantage of my time and do a quick 10 or 15 minute ab workout. Today I'm doing a workout from Mad Fit here on YouTube. Alright, so now that the colors are dry, I'm going to take these out and fold them and put them away completely before the washing machine is done. I probably have about 10 minutes. In case you guys forgot, we haven't washed the sheets yet, so I'm just going to throw my pillows to the side and make space to fold these clothes. Up next to wash are me and my husband's whites, and that's a fairly small load, so I'm in the kids' closet now, and I'm just going to take all of their whites out and combine them with ours. Since we're combining whites today, I'm going to put the kids' socks in this garment bag just so it's easier for me to sort them out when it's time to fold. I also use these on delicates and bras. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. So we're gonna fast forward a little bit and take the colored towels out the dryer because those are done as well as the whites. I'm gonna put the whites into the dryer, which means I need to go and fold and put away those towels. Begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be a one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked They're like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances they are nothing for us going to switch gears a little bit. We are in the kitchen about to whip up some homemade Febreze. This stuff smells so good and it's super easy to make. All you need is a scoop of your favorite scent beads, one and a fourth cup of boiling water, and a half a cup of witch hazel or rubbing alcohol. Give it a good shake and then you can use it right away. I use these on curtains, pillows, linens. So since we're all quarantined and can't get out to the stores to get unnecessary items like Febreze and you have these three items, try it out. You guys are not going to be disappointed. So this is actually a couple hours later and I added our sheets to the washing machine off camera. Those are now done as well as those whites that you saw washing earlier. I'm going to add the sheets to the dryer and while those are drying I'm going to race against the dryer and fold and put away our whites. So I'm finally going to wash our brand new towels, so I'm going to take the tags off of those and throw those in. I'm sorry. 
So last but not least, I'm going to fold the new towels that I just got finished drying. And then I'm also going to fold the kids' socks that I put in that garment bag you saw earlier. And that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.